Well, today we're doing another hired request. Um, it's My Way by Frank Sinatra. It's a piano solo arrangement uh, that someone hired me to do, so the melody is going to be in the right hand. Some of you like that, so um, that's what we're doing today. It's good to be back. I've been uh, sick, and my, the whole family's been sick for uh, <laughs> a few days, and uh, we're just getting now over all this stuff, so it's good to be back uh, doing videos. So let's get started. Let me play this part one for you. So it's a uh, piano solo arrangement of My Way by Frank Sinatra. But um, <clears throat> let's take a look here at the right hand first, the melody. Bum, bum. Um, this course is the free part one I always put on YouTube. And the rest of the lessons are for my own online students on webpianoteacher.com. If you're a member, you can view the other parts that finish this arrangement. Um, and finish up the song. Um, of course, you have to pay for a membership, but you know it's not not that expensive, I don't think. But anyway, um, Facebook is the best way to get a hold of me if you need to to contact me or just to see what I'm up to. Um, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I'm also on Twitter. My name is webpianoteacher on Twitter as well. If you like to get tweets when I uh, post a new song or what have you. So anyway, so let's get to this. And it's 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 really neat. It kind of goes through it, the the uh, main melody three times, and then the third time it's really full, and uh, so it kind of increases, you know, as as uh, arrangements tend to do, and gets really big at the end. And I'll try to uh, post a link somewhere so you can listen to the original that I got this from on YouTube, so you can hear the whole hear the the performance of the whole thing. But anyway, let's start with the right hand G, and then we go up to E. We're going to go back down to G, and then back up to E, and then to D, and the E to D is kind of quick. Then back to E, then back down to G, back up to E, down to D, then back up to E, and then down to G, um, and then E, D, and then uh, D. I'll go ahead and finish since it's so short. Let's go ahead and do the right hand all the way. D, and then C sharp, and then a low A, high A, back to low A, and then C sharp, E. Are kind of quick, that's why I slurred them. And there are triplets F, and then back down to A, and then F, and then E. So the melody, I guess, bum, and so forth. Let's look at the left hand now. There are four boards to complete this, and uh, the second, third, and fourth boards have a lot more notes than this one on it, but let's look here at the left hand. Sometimes we're going to have triplets, and sometimes we're just going to have straight eighth notes, and I'll, I'll uh, let you know what we're doing there, but C below middle C, and then up to G, and then up to middle C with a thumb. That's called an octave and a fifth, because you have the octave and then the fifth in the middle. That's right on the third finger there, and then G, and then back up to middle C. So, ba, 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 ba. then you're going to put the right hand in between there, and then put a middle C, and then do the right hand. So, watch the how you put hands together here. We play this one first, and then together, left, 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 right, left. Okay, now let's do it in uh, up to tempo. Syncopated there. Bum, bum. Okay, let me do it again for you a little bit slower. Bum, bum, and you must also what we call voice the right hand. That means bring out the right hand more. You have to play the right hand louder. Some people never try to do that. They just keep both hands the same volume, and you never. It's really kind of a flat plain playing, and you never. Plain playing, <laughs> what I meant to say there. 
and you never hear that melody very clearly, you've got to voice that right hand and bring it out. And um, it'll really start to sparkle and make your playing start to really come alive. You learn how to do that. Um, <clears throat> second measure. Left hand is going to be on a low E, and then up to B, and then up to E. Ba, ba, ba. And then we're going to cross over and then do G, B, E. So, ba, 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 ba. And these are triplets. Ba 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 ba. Hear that? Da 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 da. So we go to triplets there for that one part. Ba 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 ba. One and a two and three. Now let's put that together with the first box, and then we can hear how it sounds together. G minor chord, low G, and then B flat, and then D, and then G, and then that same G right here, and then up to B flat, and then up to D. I'm going to play that together. Hope you enjoy it.